Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lalas from MLSsoccer.com. In this episode, we're going green. When we look at the power of a recycled run, although I don't think that's actually a technical term. Regardless, it led to a goal for Marcelo Sarvas in the LA Galaxy's 2-0 win over FC Dallas on Sunday, July 7th, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. So this play starts when Robbie Keane gets the ball on the left side and he faces up one-on-one -on -one with Stephen Keel. Now Keane is known around the world as a finisher, but as he's grown older, he's become a devastating setup man, especially adept at taking advantage of a one-on-one -on -one situation like this. What's interesting is that when Keane gets the ball, Dallas are in bad shape. They've got five defenders scrambling to cover five Galaxy attackers. And at the pro level, a one-to-one -one ratio is often a losing proposition for the defense. Looking to take advantage of that, Sarvas makes a run into the box, specifically into the space at the near post. But Keane delays. He doesn't actually have a clear pass to any teammates in a dangerous position, which is why he chooses to take on Keel. He wants to get deeper toward the end line and then clip his cross back for someone to finish. Well, Keane's delay means that Sarvas is kind of stuck in limbo at the near post. If Sarvis stays where he is, he'd be out of the play because FCD's Matt Hedges has recovered to pick him up. But when Keane beats Keel, Hedges is forced to deal with that situation, leaving Sarvis free and unmarked. But at the near post, he's not in a good position because one, there's no clear passing route to him, and two, he'd never be able to get a good shot off even if the ball goes to him because of the angle and all the defenders around him. So at this point, Sarvas must recycle. And by that, I mean he must curl around out of the chaos and into the space at the far post. Keane obviously is smart enough to realize that his cross will be wasted at the near post, where all those people are, so he instinctively lifts the ball to the far post. In other words, the passer and the receiver are both looking for the space. And as we've talked about before, at this level, a little space is all a player needs to put the ball in the back of the net. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless. Join me again next time when we'll wind it back and break it down.